So in the previous videos, we learned how to find the roots or the solutions to a complex number using the exponential form. However, in this video, we are going to use the Morbius theorem to achieve that same purpose. So how do we find the roots of z exponent 4 equals 1 and then z exponent 3 equals 8? So starting from a, we have z exponent 4 equals 1. Now because this is a complex number, we can represent this as z exponent 4 equals 1 plus j0. So that we have the x component or the real component to be 1 and the imaginary component to be 0. Now let's represent this complex number on the argand diagram where we find the values of r and theta. So we have this to be the origin, the imaginary axis, and the real axis. So we have x to be 1, so this is 1, and then we have y to be 0, which means that the complex number 1 plus j0 is going to lie on the positive x axis. So that is 1 plus j0. So now let's find the value of r. So we know that r, which is the modulus, is given by the square root of the x component square plus the y component square. And that is equal to, we have the x component to be 1, so 1 square, y component to be 0, 0 square, and that is equal to the square root of 1. Now the square root of 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, we have the modulus to be 1. Now let's find the value of the angle theta. Now since 1 plus j0 lies on the positive x-axis, then it is evident that the angle between the complex number and the positive x-axis is 0 degrees. Therefore, the complex number z exponent 4 which is equal to 1 plus j0 can be represented in the polar form as 1 polar 0 degrees. Therefore, z exponent 4 is equal to 1 polar 0 degrees. Now, let's make z the subject. So, in doing so, we are going to multiply the exponent by 1 over 4. So, that becomes z exponent 4 times 1 over 4. And then we do same for the right hand side. So we have 1 polar 0, all exponents 1 over 4. So that we have z equals. Now, according to the Morbius theorem, we know that z exponent n is equal to r polar theta, all exponents n. So we can simplify that as r exponent n polar n times theta. So basically that's what we are going to do here. So using the same theorem, we have 1 exponent 1 over 4 polar 1 over 4 times 0 degrees. So that becomes z equals, now 1 exponent 1 over 4 is still 1. And then 1 over 4 times 0 degrees is still 0 degrees. Therefore, this happens to be the first solution to z exponent 4 equals 1 plus j0. Now, since we have z to the power 4, it means that we need to arrive at 4 solutions or 4 roots. And we have z1, which is the first solution. Now, how do we find z2, z3, and then z4? Now, the roots of a complex number have the same modulus. The difference between them is... They are symmetrically spaced by 2 pi over n or 360 degrees over n, where we have n to be the number of solutions or the number of roots. So the number of solutions or the number of roots. Now, since we have z to the power 4, which means that 
we have four solutions. Therefore, we can say that the solutions to this complex number are symmetrically spaced by 360 degrees divided by 4, which is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, if Z1 is equal to 1 polar 0 degrees, then we have Z2 to be equal to the value of the modulus remains the same. So we have 1 polar and then we add 90 to this angle so that we have 1 polar 90. Also for Z3, we have 1 polar. We are going to add 90 to this value that becomes 180. And then for Z4, we are going to add 90 to 180 so that we have 270. So therefore, these are the roots of the complex equation Z exponent 4 equals 1. Now let's move on as we solve for B. Also for B, we have the complex equation Z exponent 3 equals 8. Now we can express this as 8 plus J0 where we have the x value to be 8 and the y value to be 0. Now let's represent this on the Agand diagram. So we have the x value to be 8 and the y value to be 0 which means that we have the complex number going to lie on the positive x-axis. So that is 8 plus j0. Now let's find the values of r and theta. So we have r equals the square root of x square plus y square that is equal to 8 square plus 0 square now 8 square is 64 the square root of 64 is 8 so we have r equals 8 now since the complex number lies on the positive x-axis the angle between r or the complex number and the positive x-axis is 0 therefore z cube which is equal to 8 plus j0 can be represented in the polar form as 8 polar 0 degrees now let's make z the subject so we have z cube equals 8 polar 0 degrees we are going to multiply the exponent by 1 over 3 so we have 3 times 1 over 3 and that is equal to 8 polar 0 all exponents 1 over 3 so this becomes z equals 8 exponents 1 over 3 polar 1 over 3 times 0 degrees therefore we have z1 to be equal to now 8 exponents 1 over 3 is the same as 2 exponents 3 times 1 over 3 so 3 cancels out 3 we are left with 2 exponent 1 which is equal to 2 so z1 equals 2 polar 0 degrees because 1 over 3 times 0 is still 0 so this happens to be the first solution to z cube equals 8 plus j0 now let's find the other two solutions now we said that the solutions to a complex number have the same modulus however they are symmetrically spaced by 360 degrees divided by n now in this case we have the value of n to be 3 therefore we have 360 divided by 3 and that is equal to 120 degrees therefore we have z2 to be same modulus number which is 2 polar we are going to add 120 degrees to this value and that becomes 120 and then for z3 
we still have two polar we add 120 to 120 and that becomes 240 therefore these are the roots or the solutions to z exponent 3 equals 8 so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye